This week, I'm introducing printmaking, and we will be experimenting with some different printmaking techniques, the first of which is this graphite transfer technique. And the first step for this technique is to fill up a large section of your paper with graphite. It doesn't need to be as much as I have here, but as large as the drawing is that you're going to be transferring. So notice that I put two layers of graphite over all the area that I'm going to be using as my transfer paper because it needs to be a lot of pencil in order for this to work. And then so I don't accidentally start tracing on the area that there's no graphite on it, cut that off. And then the next step is to choose an image to transfer. I chose some magazine images and you can see here that I was practicing earlier on the house. The next step is to take a white piece of paper and I'm going to be taping it down just for the purpose of the video. Uh, this is an optional step though. This is the paper that you're transferring to. You put your transfer paper down, graphite side, touching the paper that you're drawing onto. And then take your picture that you've chosen, could be from a magazine like I have, could be printed out, could be your own drawing, and you're holding it on top of the transfer paper. Hold it still so it's not moving. And then you're using a ballpoint pen so you can see where you're going and pushing down to transfer lines to your new piece of paper. So you can choose to include as much or as little detail as you would like. If you are going to be taking an existing image like I am, I have a magazine here, make sure you change some element of it. I'm going to show you that next. Uh, this is what it looks like when you transfer. So you pick everything up and there you have all the lines you push down transferred onto your new piece of paper. So using that same piece of transfer paper, please don't make a new paper for everything that you're transferring. I'm going to place it on a new spot on my paper, and this time I'm flipping the picture upside down and overlapping the images a little bit to start to create my own kind of collaged version of this image here that I've chosen. And again, I'm going to encourage you, if you're using an image that's already existing, like a magazine or a printed piece of paper, change the image somehow. Don't just trace the lines. Uh, move some elements around and create a new image of your own so it's your own artwork. And there's my little example of an image transfer. The next process, you're going to need some sort of piece of plastic, markers, and water. And the plastic I've chosen to use is a Ziploc bag, but you could use parchment paper, you could use a grocery bag, you could use a saran wrap, any sort of plastic will work. And then I'm adding the ink from my markers onto the bag. It looks like it doesn't work, but it's just because you can see through it. And then the next step is really important. You need to add water to the ink. And it looks like it's just going to print these little dots, but when you pick up that puddled ink, the paper smashes it down and it spreads out to make this interesting kind of abstract design. Another option is getting the paper wet. So since I just got the paper wet with that puddle, I'm now, instead of wetting the plastic, just picking up those lines that I made with the wet paper and you can see here the lines didn't spread out so if you wanted to do a drawing that would be the option for you if you don't have a paintbrush here i'm showing you how you could just use a little piece of paper towel to transfer the water it's not important how you get the water into the ink you just need to find some way to get the ink to spread out so it pools and can be picked up with the paper okay finally <laughs> the last technique is going to be rubbings. So you need some sort of texture. I chose plants and I'm showing you here this plant didn't work because it was too thick. You need something very thin that has a texture to pick up but not too deep of a texture because you'll rip your paper. So the leaves were perfect. You don't need to use leaves but this is just the example I chose. After you put the leaf under the paper you do a rubbing with a colored pencil, a crayon, a regular pencil, whatever you have, and it's going to pick up the texture underneath the paper. And here you can see the detail. You can see a little more detail than what showed up in my picture, but you get the idea. Here I'm showing you a fresh leaf. The first leaf was kind of dried up and I found it on the ground. The fresh leaf, it worked, but since it was picked fresh, it, it had a lot of moisture inside and it actually got my paper wet and I would be concerned about the paper tearing. So keep that in mind. If you're going to use leaves, I would use dried leaves. And here I have a very sped up version of an example of a composition I could use. You could also do rubbings of a couple different things. I'm gonna sh 
show you what I'm talking about in just a moment. So that was very quick. Let's review. The first option is the graphite transfer. And like I said before, please, if you're using an existing image, move some things around, change the elements and the composition so that it's a unique piece of artwork. So here's my first example of those houses where when I was experimenting, I could see like creating a landscape. There's a ton of stuff you could do with this. Just make sure you're, you're repositioning the parts of the picture that you're taking from so that it's unique and it's your own artwork. The second option is the marker transfer. Like I showed you, it's important to have a piece of plastic to do this on. And here I'm showing you my first trial. I used a bit of a thicker piece of paper to pick up the ink, and I think the ink is a little bit brighter. So while printer paper or notebook paper will work, if you have access to some sort of thicker piece of paper, the ink is going to be a brighter color. And finally, the rubbings. Okay, so you can see I really experimented here. And in my opinion, these are still pretty rough, but like I said earlier, this is an experimental process. So try some things out. If it doesn't work, that doesn't have to be your final product, okay? The point of this week is just to get comfortable with these options. You could even alter them a little bit to kind of create your own option. You could layer them and create something totally new. Uh, but just have fun. So experiment with what you have at home and see what you can figure out.